Well, I think everyone deserves a chance, especially if we can bring happiness to her. Besides, maybe she'll take a liking to literature. Are you sure you just don't want to read her manga, Sayori? Hey, who do you think I am? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. I just feel really uneasy about this. Do you have any opinion, Yuri? Not particularly. She said she wasn't going to bother anyone. That includes me, so... Does that mean I bother you? No, you're pleasant to be around. <laughs> I was just fishing for a compliment. I know. But still, I really think we should give her a chance. Yeah, alright. But I really am going to start enforcing club activities. I'm willing to cooperate. Suddenly the three of them here thump against the door. What was that? Sayori so stands up and walks over to the door and then opens it. Thank you! Carrying three boxes of what is presumably manga, Natsuki grunts and wobbles inside before slowly bending over and dropping the stack onto the floor as gently as she can. That's quite a collection. Sayori giggles in excitement while catching her breath. Natsuki replies, There's still one more box. I can put them away myself. I know how to organize them. Monica anxiously uh, glances between Sayori and Yuri. Is this really okay for the club? Maybe it's what she needs to really kick the club into gear before everyone gets too complacent. It seems like things are finally going to start getting more serious. At the next club meeting, Monica is the first to arrive. But ever since Natsuki joined, she feels a lot less relaxed. Why am I so nervous? Monica paces trying to figure out her feelings. Natsuki said she wasn't going to bother anyone, so why does it feel like the atmosphere has changed so much? While Monica thinks, the club door opens, revealing Natsuki carrying a box. Monica forces a smile as Natsuki makes her way to the closet. Natsuki forces one in return. Need help? No, I got it. Monica awkwardly tries to start some kind of conversation, but fails. Curious, she peeks into the closet where Natsuki is stashing all of her manga. Once dull with school supplies, the shelves are now vibrant with bright colours and cute looking artwork. You know, the top shelf is pretty empty. Maybe we could keep it up there. I can't reach up there! That would be such an inconvenience! Yeah, but... Monica sighs. The teachers are going to ask what all this manga is doing here, and I have to tell them it's for the literature club. And so? Monica backs off and slumps into a desk. With this kind of tension, it feels like the relaxed atmosphere accumulated over the past few weeks has been sucked right out of the room. Good afternoon! Why did I have to say it like that? That was... What? Wait. Dun, dun, dun. It sounds familiar. Hold on. Oh! Na, da, dun, dun, dun. If you know where that tone's from, then GG. Sayori so spins into the club room. Oh, I see someone's in a good mood. Yeah, because I have this. Sayori so brandishes a cookie wrapped in plastic. I found some money and got a cookie. Ooh, it's so pretty. As Sayori so trots over to the closet, the colorful shelves catch her eye. Which one do I start with? Well, you can start by giving me a bite of that cookie. No way. I saved up all my luck to find that money. If you want entry into my kingdom, you need to pay the tax peasants. Boo. Defeated Sayuri and wraps her cookie and breaks off a piece for Natsuki. Then Yuri silently walks into the club room. Monica glances at her with pleading eyes. Yuri returns a quick nod of understanding. Well, everyone's here now. Despite the club only having one more person than before, it somehow feels twice as lively. Okay, so I think today we should go over some potential club activities and see which ones we want to do first. We have four members now, so it would be great if we found some stuff to do as a group. Does that sound good to everyone? I agree. Okay, so I have some ideas of my own, but I want to hear your ideas too. Well, I've been having a lot of fun learning about everyone else's interests. Maybe we can give each person a day to share their favourite kind of literature with everyone else. Well, maybe. Something tells me that... Maka glances at Yuri and Natsuki, who both appear very unwilling to even consider each other's interests. Maybe we can try to come up with something that everyone can enjoy equally. You know, like we all vote on a book to read or something like that. I think we should all collectively try to expand our interests, rather than just stick to things we're familiar with. Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Natsuki, didn't you say that you'd go along with whatever the club wanted to do? Well, yeah, but that doesn't make it okay for you to ignore everyone else's preferences. I like Sayori's suggestion. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but, um... Malika's voice trails off. Although she let Natsuki join the club, Monica finds it incredibly difficult to relent to her demands. If Natsuki doesn't respect the club, why should Monica have to yield to Natsuki's opinion on anything? Natsuki, are you sure that you don't have any other literature interests you could share with the club? 
Man, I'm sorry, but why- why Monica is so, like, hesitant about manga? Like, holy sh**, like, <laughs> she's just pressing so hard. I swear I don't mind if you keep your manga in here, but I just- Natsuki cuts Monica off by suddenly standing up. Well, it's obvious that I'm not wanted here, so I'm just gonna leave. But I really would have appreciated you being more upfront about it. Okay, I think you're kind of jumping to conclusions here. But you're free to do whatever you want. Natsuki shoots Monica a quick glare before walking straight out of the room. Damn. Oh no. Sayori so runs after her, leaving just Monica and Yuri. For the second time today, Monica slumps down into a desk. Why am I being such a jerk? No, she is a jerk. She's just making me feel this way. Monica looks up at Yuri, seeking affirmation. Yuri looks away. She probably just went around looking for the smallest clubs she could find so that she doesn't have to participate. How does she expect me to give her respect when she has no respect for the club? Am I wrong, Yuri? I'm not... I'm not good at these things. Marka sighs. Me neither. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I feel like it's not wrong to enforce the club vision. You know, like, people should join because they want to express their passion for literature, or at least develop it. So, maybe she's not a good fit for the club after all. Monica sits in silence, afraid to accept her tentative conclusion. Yuri looks tense, but she doesn't seem to want to add anything. You can... sorry. You can go back to reading. I know this doesn't concern you. It does. It does how? Well, I just can't comfortably read in an atmosphere where the peace has been disturbed. Oh, well, great. I'm just ruining the whole club then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of voicing my frustration and I guess, and I guess guilt. It's like my frustration wants to blame her, but my guilt wants to blame me. Ugh, why is this the hardest to be rational during the times you need it most? I don't think you're being irrational. I think Natsuki is. She has no authority to walk in here and make demands of the club. Your club. Something as ridiculous as manga has no place here. The fact that you're even storing it for her should make her completely indebted to you. I'm sorry, but it is. Manga is literally literature. Like, you can't say it's not. Like, you could talk, like, literally, English cast, you could probably pull out a manga and it'd still be viable because there's still words and you can talk about the scenarios and what the author meant by this word and this word, you know? But anyway, sorry, that's a little wrong. Well, you're right, but I don't know. Isn't it kind of harsh to say things like it's ridiculous and it has no place here? Do you not feel the same way? You've been doing everything you can to avoid associating the club with it, so I assumed you felt the same way about it.